Hey YouTube, what's up? So I just wanted to post a quick video on my new car lift that I just received from gregsmithequipment.com. This is the Atlas 408-SL four post car lift. This is considered one of their mid to high end hobbyist car lifts that of course is uh, made for non-commercial use. Um, I ordered the car lift back about a week and a half ago. It took about four days for me to receive it from, from gregsmithequipment.com. And uh, so far it's been working really well for me. As you can see, I've got a, a Camaro. It's a 2016 Camaro and my car lift fits on it pretty nicely. One of the main reasons why I bought this lift, because trust me, I researched a ton of them. My first choice was to go with one of the Ben Packs. But the problem with most of the car lifts, including the Ben Packs, is that the pump housing here is located pretty high. So with me being in a wheelchair, this would be hard for me to work out while at the same time trying to release the safety release here, which is how you lower the lift. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna raise the lift and I'm gonna lower the lift. And then you can see how well the car lifts my Camaro. right here just for a second one of the main reasons why I bought my car lift is because I wanted to be able to do all my oil changes all my services underneath the car without having to worry about crawling around on the floor without having to worry about grabbing my floor jack lifting up the car getting underneath hoping and praying that my wife wouldn't come home from work one day and find me crushed underneath my car the other reason why I bought my car lift is because I love cleaning my car Right now the car is filthy because it's raining. It's been raining here for the past three or four days. So I haven't been able to clean my car. But one of the reasons why I bought the car uh, lift uh, was because I can do stuff like this. I can raise the car and I can really, really clean my wheels. I can clean the side of my car. It's all at, at chest level and this is gonna work out perfect for me. So let me continue to raise the car lift. <coughs> wondering that loud clicking noise are the safety locks engaging every time that it goes up I think they're set every four or six inches but as you can see I can roll around underneath the car pretty easy and get to everything underneath the car just fine so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you my LED lighting that I put underneath the car. All right, so these are the LED light strips that I put on the car lift. I mainly did them because I didn't want to have to worry about remembering to grab my flashlight every time I wanted to come underneath the car to uh, do some service work or to clean the underneath the car. I just wanted to be able to come underneath there and do my thing. As you can see, these LED light strips do more than enough to light up everything underneath the car.
I bought them from Amazon.com. Um, I think after tax, uh, they were probably somewhere around $30 for the kit. They're two separate strips and they work out awesome. Okay, so let me talk a couple of other reasons why I chose this lift over other car lifts. Main reason why I chose this over other lifts was, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but most of the four post lifts that I looked at has the pump higher and of course the reservoir is even higher. This would make it pretty hard for me to be able to reach up here to push the button to raise and lower the car. This particular car lift, as you can see, has the pump much lower than most of the other car lift uh, um, uh, manufacturers that I looked at. Plus, with most car lifts, you either have to place the location of this pump on either the driver's side front or the passenger side rear. Neither one of these worked, uh, would have worked out in my case because if I would have put the pump on the driver's side front, then I would have had to run power up to the ceiling and it just wouldn't have looked good. I have an outlet right here you know, next to my water heater. I've got a sub panel. Everything works perfect here. Um, but, one of the reasons why I chose, another reason why I chose this lift is because you can put this pump on any corner of the car lift. Most of the other car lifts don't let you do that. Second reason is, is I think it's a pretty good looking lift. All of the other ones are, are, are mainly black color and they just, they're very boring to me. I don't, it's, uh, you know, not only uh, do I like my uh, stuff to work good, but I actually like it to look good. Um, this has sort of like a, um, a gunmetal gray type of finish, and I just think it looks much, much better than just plain black. Um, uh, also, this particular car lift, you can't see it, but the main pulleys underneath the car lift have grease fittings. So you can grease the grease fittings. These, these pulleys here, where the chain or where the cables ride on, these also have uh, grease fittings on there. So the car lift is very, very serviceable. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I lower the car. So I've got this strap and I pull it down like this and then I just lower the car. And that's it. So I think the car goes up pretty quickly. All things considered, I've seen much slower lifts and it goes down pretty easy as well. Another reason why I chose this lift over other car lifts was because, and I know that this might sound a little silly, but I like the color of the reservoir, which is a clear plastic. A lot of the other car lifts have a plat, a, uh, a, a, a reservoir that's black plastic. So to me, 
that's a bad idea having that because you can't see the fluid level of the hydraulic fluid nowhere near as easy as you can see it here. Plus, with this being clear, you can uh, you can tell or you can see what color the, what color the hydraulic fluid is. Um, hydraulic fluid, when it's new or with uh, when it's in good condition, it's uh, it's pretty much a very light or clear color fluid. But when it's worn or when it's gotten too hot or when it's gotten exposure to uh, too much moisture, it'll turn dark color. Dark hydraulic fluid is bad. So I've already changed the fluid once because basically this is like a new engine. You want to run it for a few hours or in this case, I probably raised and lowered the lift for uh, maybe 10 times. I changed the fluid and then I put new fluid in it. So, all in all, would I recommend this car lift to other people? Absolutely. Why would I recommend it to other people? I'm just gonna recap on what I just said a few minutes ago. One, I love the fact that you can put the pump on any one of the four posts. Can't do that with the other lifts. And then two, I love the fact that the, that the pump housing is mounted much lower for people like me in wheelchairs that don't have the ability to reach up higher like most people standing. Three, I think the, I think the color of the lift is, uh, is much more appealing to people like myself that, um, that uh, want something that only uh, works good but looks good. Um, yeah, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm super happy with the lift. I'm very, very uh, looking forward to uh, doing all my servicing on my car again. Of course, cleaning underneath the car and, um, and uh, just having fun. Oh, in case if you're wondering, my ceiling in my garage is only nine feet high. So some people will say that that's not enough for a four post car lift. It works perfect for me because as you saw earlier, I don't need to raise the car uh, very high up in the air because I'm in a wheelchair so obviously I'm not at the same height as someone that would be standing so this works perfect for me so that being that I hope that you enjoyed my little video of my Atlas car lift um, again this is the Atlas 408-SL um, and I bought it from GregSmithEquipment.com